Hi, everyone. My name is Greg Holsworth. And I'm Tennessee Cooper. Thank you for joining me today, Tennessee. We're here today to talk about Black History Month. February is, of course, Black History Month. And I guess the first question I have is, what does Black History Month mean to you personally? Uh, well, thanks for having me, Greg. And I will say that um, as I've matured and grown to see the world, um, that meaning of what Black History Month means has really changed, right? At a young age, it kind of represented hope. Um, you hear these stories of those whom you consider to be black heroes who defied the odds. And it kind of provided that comfort that despite any racial disparities, you can fight through anything. And there are better days ahead with endless possibilities of what you can achieve. I would say now there's still a little bit of that hope, but um, it really serves more as a reminder that we should take the time to acknowledge and appreciate the courage, the spirit, the contributions, the innovations, and really the impact of those Black pioneers who came before us. So why is it important that we pause and take a bit of time to learn and understand our Black history? Well, Greg, it's important because we have a long way to go. Um, in order to be more inclusive as a culture, as a society, as a company, we really need to take the opportunity to recognize and really celebrate racial, ethnic, and cultural backgrounds in ways such as Black History Month. So I want to learn more myself about Black History Month, Tennessee. What do you recommend? Where, where should I start? Well, um, good news. We've recently published an inclusion moment on the Inclusion and Diversity microsite on Black History Month. So you can start there. You can take the time to review and watch some of the videos and explore the sites that we've provided you. Um, in addition, there is a wonderful Netflix series called Explain. In one of the earlier seasons, there's an episode on the racial wealth gap. So I highly recommend watching that and then really giving yourself the opportunity to do your own research, right? Listen to some podcasts, read some articles, and really try to find some of those stories that highlight the contributions of Black Americans. Um, I think this is a great opportunity to learn more about Black history. And I admit that, you know, post high school and post college, it's something that I really didn't do a good job at. Um, but, you know, the recent events of the past few years have really motivated me to put more effort into learning about it. Um, as we've seen, there's more of a, a distance in the divide. And I think we all owe it to ourselves to kind of claim that individual responsibility and learn more about our Black history because it does represent American history and in some parts, Canadian history as well. So, yeah. Tennessee, thank you so very much for your time today. I, I feel like we're well at hand and I can I can take this this challenge to to learn more about our black history. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Greg. I really appreciate it.